Hey, what's up? This is Jay Bat, and today I will be doing a review for Batman issue 500, Nightfall 19, and this is from October 1993, and it details the events that happened after uh, Batman got his back broken by Bane, and in this book, there's a uh, the Batman is currently by played by a uh, Gene Paul. You know, he was formerly Azrael. You know. And he still has the help of Tim Drake as Robin, too, along the way. So this is J-Bat, and this is Batman 500. Hey, what's up? This is J-Bat. And today I'll be doing a review of a comic book issue. And it is Batman... Issue 500, as you can see right here. And I remember getting this book back in the early 90s, in 1993, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, October 1993. Now, that's kind of when I was at the peak of reading comic books, and this was so hot at the time, you know, because they had, they just had, like, uh, the death of Superman, you know, where he was, Superman was killed by Doomsday. So they also had, like, a major story, turning point for Batman, where he had his back broken by Bane, you know. So yeah, this is uh this is gonna be just like a review for this, and this was Batman issue five hundred, and it was a uh, Nightfall nineteen. It was part of the Nightfall series, which was a uh, number nineteen. Now at that point in the Batman timeline, especially in the Nightfall series, Bruce Wayne was no longer Batman because his back was broken by Bang. You know what I'm saying? So he's actually like <laughs> chilling somewhere with Alfred. He's not even in Gotham City no more. And plus, he's like wheelchair bound, you know, so he's like, he's virtually, uh, you know what I'm saying, helpless at the point, you know what I'm saying, at that point. So there's a new Batman, and he's uh, played by uh, Gene Paul, I think his last name was Valley, and he was formerly Azrael. So this guy named Gene Paul, he is the current Batman, but you still have Robin along the way, who was Tim Drake at the time, you know, because the original Robin, which was Dick Grayson, he became Nightwing, you know, and then the second Robin, who was Jason Todd. He died, you know what I'm saying? So the third Robin was Tim Drake, so he's the current Robin. He was the current Robin at this time, you know, in the Batman, like, timeline or whatever, when this was going on, in the Nightfall saga, basically. So, yeah, the, uh, now the comic book issue, it opens with, like, a uh, Batman who is Gene Paul. Now, he's battling Bane with these new guns he has made for his hands. And they're cool, too, because they shoot, like, batarangs. I remember at the time, I thought it was cool because he could shoot, like, a whole bunch of, like, batarangs, like, projectiles at his gunless, you know? So I, thought, I always thought that was cool at the time, you know? Then after this moment, it gets kind of gruesome, you know, like, because he shoot batarangs into Bane, and Bane pulls one out, and, the, and he's, like, bleeding and stuff, so it's very bloody, you know? Then after that, you know what I'm saying, jumps to a scene with uh, Tim Drake as Robin, and he has an argument with uh, Gene Paul, you know, the current Batman, in the Batcave. I believe they're in the Batcave. Yeah, I think they're in the Batcave. And Gene is doing, like, one-arm pull-ups as he's having an argument with, like, Robin, you know what I'm saying, like, Tim Drake or whatever. He's doing, like, one-arm pull-ups. But at the same time, he's also secretly creating a new bat suit for himself so he can take out Bane in the end, you know. So uh, eventually, you know I'm saying, other characters show up in this, like uh, Harvey Bullock, he's also in this. And I was more familiar with him from the Batman animated series. But he plays like a major role in this in this story too. Because there's scenes with him and uh, Commissioner Gordon, and they're overlooking a battle between Batman, you know, Gene Paul, and uh, Bane, you know, towards the end of the story. Then you also have Nightwing, he shows up in the tale too, you know what I'm saying. He shows him and has like a conversation with uh, Tim Drake and he didn't know that Bruce Wayne was in a wheelchair at the time. He didn't really know about that. So Tim actually reveals that to him that uh, Bruce Wayne is now in a wheelchair. He's wheelchair bound and he's still recovering from his injuries. But he is with Alfred. And there was also a scene with Bruce and uh, Alfred like in another country. I forgot exactly where it was and Bruce Wayne really is in a wheelchair, you know what I'm saying? And he's still recovering from being broken by a uh, bang, you know? And also in this tale, you know what I'm saying, you have uh, Sarah Essen, who was in uh, Batman Year One. She's in here, and she's, like, you know what I'm saying, having, like, conversations with Gordon and stuff like that, you know. And then you have, uh, like, uh, as the story goes on, it's told in two different, like, chapters. You have Part One, The Dark Angel, then you have Part Two, The Descent. 
but like, there's also like uh like towards the end, you know what I'm saying, after Gene Paul actually eventually creates the new bat suit, I remember at the time I thought it was so cool, you know. It looks cool, you know what I'm saying, but when you get close up, it looks at it, it really looked that high, you know. But he, once he does that, he goes on into Gotham City and he's like swinging around, like gliding and stuff. He's shooting like his grappling and stuff. And it looks cool. It's a fun scene, you know what I'm saying? Like towards the end of the, the comic, you know what I'm saying? He's like swinging around Gotham City and shooting, you know what I'm saying? His grapple and stuff and like gliding and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So Bane eventually leads him to like a final battle between the two with like a billboard saying, saying, come now to Batman now, like come to me now, Batman, you know? Then they eventually beat and have like a brutal battle that gets very gruesome. And like Bane, his mask is even tore off, you know what I'm saying? Kind of halfway, so you can see like his mouth and nose and, and Robin stuff, even know? shows up in that scene too, you know, Tim Drake, you know, he also even shows up, you know. But yeah, I thought, I thought this was, uh, at the time when I read it, I thought it was cool and good. And it was very hot at the time. Cause I remember picking this up. Because back when I was reading comic books, I mostly read, you know, like the spider man you know. That's who I mostly read. But I was reading Batman comic books too, though. He, he kind of ran with Spider-Man. Now, he's still my favorite hero, Batman. And Spider-Man was my number two. But that's who I mostly read with Spider-Man. I didn't really read that many Batmans, but I did read Batman. I was reading him too, you know. And this was very hard at the time. Plus, it was like it was like a milestone, you know. Batman had just went through 500. It's, this was the 500 issue, you know. And I remember, like, in that cover right there, see how it opens and shows uh, Asriel or Jean Paul Valley. As uh, the current Batman, but that new bat suit that was so cool at the at the time. Ooh, I remember thinking that was so cool. And then you can see uh, Bane holding like Robin up right here. So, I go into a more thorough with my, uh, my 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 book. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is uh this is my review for Batman issue 500. And I'm not going to spoil the ending about what happens, you know. And this is part of the Nightfall saga because, you know, that whole thing has been com collected into a complete story, which consists of three books. I think Nightfall, then I think Night's Quest, then I think Night's End, I believe it is. Because I'm planning on going with those two eventually. I never read the whole Nightfall saga, so I'm still planning on actually reading that, you know what I'm saying? But I did read this one, and this actually can kind of conclude what was going on with Bang, you know. Okay, so this is J-Bat. And this is uh, my issue, uh, my review for Batman, issue 500. And I recommend this, and I thought it was fun, you know, cool. I still miss Bruce Wayne as Batman, ain't it, you know. But I thought it was cool. And this is Jay Bat. Right. Hey, what's up? This is Jay Bat. And today I'm going to review Batman, issue 500. And this was the, uh, the Nightfall series, part of the Nightfall series. You know, well, uh, Batman's back was broken by Bane, and it was Nightfall 19. And as you can see on the, the cover, this wasn't really like Bruce Wayne as Batman. I guess you can kind of look at it like that, but it really wasn't, you know. And I had this for over 20 years. I've had this, I had got this when it originally came out, and I was back in my uh, comic book reading heyday, you know. But it had like a flap cover. And then it opens up into like the new bat suit that they had at the time, which I thought was cool at the time, you know. Then you also can see like Bane holding Robin over here, you know. As you can see, like he's holding like Robin. And Robin in here was uh, Tim Drake, you know. Because Dick Grayson, of course, was Nightwing at the time. And Jason Todd was supposedly dead, you know. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to go on here and give like a, a quick look at uh, Batman issue 500. And I can remember this being very hot. At the time, you know, very hot. I even picked it up myself, you know what I'm saying? Because they just had, like, you know what I'm saying, Superman. Yeah, at the time, Superman himself was actually even kind of killed around the time by uh, Doomsday. And uh, Superman, the death of uh, Superman, you know. And I was like a little before this was kind of like released. So Batman also had got his, and you know, except he didn't die. You know, he just got his back broken by Bang, you know. Well, Bruce Wayne got his back broken by Bang. Now, the, the artwork for this was, uh, well, the writer was uh, Doug Munich, and the colorist was uh, Adrian Roy, and the letterer was Ken Brusnack. And then you had the assistant editor, which was uh, Jordan, uh, Jordan B. and Gorfa Canal. Then uh, you had the editor, which was Dennis O'Neill, and you know he did the, the comic adaptions of the films, you know. Then you have like the uh, 
and various other people as you know like like I said the writer was Doug Monich, Jim Apario and Terry Austin and Mike Manley okay so yeah this is Batman issue 500 the Nightfall part and this is part of the Nightfall you know series of whatever Nightfall 19 okay hey and clearly you can see mine is the original, very original version from 1993 because they even had Mortal Kombat in here when the first Mortal Kombat game was uh, came to video game systems, see it? As I can tell, this is way back in the early 90s. And it also had this like Batman card thing in it too, you know, like postcard thing. And this is like the, uh, the comic book itself, you know, it opens with Bang holding like Batman as you can see right here. I think at the time this also came with a poster if I'm not mistaken, you know. And this was Gene Pauly who was Batman for that moment, you know. Because Bruce Wayne was injured by Bane, he couldn't be Batman at the time. So he had this new guy who was formerly Azrael as the new Batman, you know. And that Robin is uh, the Tim Drake Robin. Yeah, this is that old sad guy. I remember getting this back 20 years, you know, 20 years ago, you know, like back in, in the early 90s when I was reading comics a lot, you know. So these are just some of the images in here, you know. Very cool looking, you know. And him and Bane has like, have like a bloody battle towards the end, you know. And that was the new look of the uh, Batman suit, you see. And as you can see, these are some of like the gruesome images, you know, like with Bane getting like blooded up by Batman. Because this new Batman was like very aggressive, you know. He was like very round and, and rough, you know, on his uh, enemies. In the end, Batman issue 500, Nightfall 19. It was a great read, you know. I really enjoyed it, you know. And at the time, it was very hot. I remember picking this up from my local, like, comic book store, you know. Because I was, I think, at my peak of reading comic books at the time, you know. When I originally had picked this up over 20 years ago. The Batman. Because I, I even remember liking uh, Gene Paul's uh, new bat suit, you know. I thought it was cool at the time. So this is J-Bat, and this is Batman issue 500.